welcome children in this video we are going to study about empty set finite and infinite set and equal sets first empty set what is an empty set a set which does not contain any element is called empty set or it is also said to be void set or null set it is denoted within the braces no element within the braces are phi so let's see an example the set of all x such that x lies between 1 and 2 x is a natural number we know that there is no natural number in between 1 and 2 so it is an empty set and a is denoted by the braces of phi let's see exercise 1.2 which of the following are null sets first question set of odd natural numbers divisible by 2 The odd natural numbers are one, three, five, seven, which is not divisible by two, so it is a empty set. The set of even prime numbers, the only one prime number is two, which is a not empty set because only one element two is present here, so it's not an empty set. Third one. The set of all x such that x is a natural number, x less than five and x is greater than seven. It is an empty set because there is no natural number. It satisfies simultaneously x is less than five and x is greater than seven. And fourth one, y is such that y is a point common to any two parallel lines. There is no point common. in between two parallel lines so it is also an empty set finite and infinite sets a set which is empty or consists of a definite number of elements is called an finite set otherwise it is called an infinite set for example a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 5 then n of a equal to 5 which is said to be a finite set the number of elements which are easily countable in a set a we can say that that is a finite set the elements which are countable are said to be a finite set and which are non countable the set of natural numbers let be equal to 1 to 3 etc it goes on which is said to be a infinite set so the number of elements are not countable which is said to be an infinite set it is not possible to write all the elements of an infinite set within the braces because the number of elements of such a set is not finite so we represent some infinite set in the roster form by writing a few elements which clearly indicate the structure of the set followed by dots all infinite sets cannot be described in the roster form Let's see second question from exercise one point two. Which of the following sets are finite or infinite? First one, the set of months of a year. We know that there are twelve months in a year. That is January, Feb, to December, and the number of months in the set A, which is equal to twelve. So it is countable, which is said to be a finite set. and the third one a set is included 1 2 3 etc till 99 and 100 we know that the number of elements in this set are finite that is we can say this set is b and n of b n of b is the number of elements in b set which is equal to 100 which is also a countable then it is said to be a finite set and the fifth one the set of prime numbers less than 99 we can list out the prime numbers which are less than 99 so 2 3 5 7 etc till 97 so these numbers can be list out and it is countable let take this set as c then n of c we can say that the elements which are present in the set c 
the prime numbers which are less than 99 is an finite set. Let's see some examples of infinite set. Second one, 1, 2, 3, etc. It goes on. The elements in this set, which are infinite set, because there are infinite elements in the set. And fourth one, the set of positive integers greater than 100. We can write the positive integers greater than 100, which is 101, 102, etc., which is also an infinite set because the set contains infinite number of elements, positive integers, which are greater than 100. Third question, state whether each of the following sets is infinite or finite. First one, the set of lines which are parallel to the x-axis. So, it is an infinite set. Why? Because we can draw infinite number of lines parallel to x-axis. So, it is, set, it is to, set to be an infinite set. The second one, the set of letters in the English alphabet. So, there are 26 letters in the English alphabet. So, it is a finite set. The third one, the set of numbers which are multiple of 5. So, multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, etc. Which is infinite, uh, it contains infinite uh, number of elements. So, it is an infinite set. And the fourth one, the set of animals living on the earth. It is a finite set because the number of animals living on the earth is very large but finite in number. And the fifth one, the set of circles passing through the origin 0, 0. We can draw infinite number of circles through origin in different radii. So, the set of circles passing through the origin is an infinite set. Equal sets. Two sets A and B are equal if they have the same number of elements in both the sets. And we write this as A equal to B. Otherwise, it's an unequal set. A is not equal to B. For example, let A equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B equal to 4, 1, 3, 2. So, B is a set in which the elements are arranged in different order but the elements are same. 1 belongs to both A and B and 2, 3, 4 belongs to both A and B. Then it is set to be an equal sets. A equal to B. Again, let's take another example. Let A equal to 2, 4 and B equal to 4, 3. The elements are different in both the sets. A contains 2 and 4. 2 does not belong to B. And B contains elements 4 and 3. And 3 does not belong to A. Hence, it is said to be an unequal set. It is denoted by A not equal to B. Let's see some uh, questions from the exercise. Fourth question, state whether A equal to B or not. First one, A equal to A, B, C, D and B equal to D, C, B, A. So, both the, element, both the set contains equal number of elements, the same number of elements. A, B, C, D which belongs to both A and B. Hence, it is equal set A equal to B. Second one, A equal to 4, 8, 12, 16 and B equal to 8, 4, 16. 18. Here in the set A, the element 12 does not belong to B. And in the set B, the element 18 which does not belong to A. So, both the sets contains different elements. So, A is not equal to B. Third one, A equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and B equal to X such that X is a positive even integer. X less than or equal to 10. So, let A equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and B equal to, it contains an element which is a positive even integer, less than or equal to 10. So, 10 is also included. So, even integers are 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Both the sets A and B, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, which contains in both A and B. Hence, it is also said to be an equal set. I am writing this as A equal to B. Fourth one, A equal to set of all X such that X is a multiple of 10. 
then A is uh, represented as 10, 20, 30, etc. B equal to 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. Here the elements in B like uh, 15 and 25 does not belong to A. So it have unequal uh, elements. Hence this is not an equal set and it is denoted as A not equal to B. Uh, fifth one or the following pair of sets are equal give reason. The first one A equal to 2 comma 3 and B is a set of all x such that x is a solution of x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. We have to factorize this. Hope you learnt in uh, the previous classes. Let me recall this. Here the sum is 5 and the product is 6. So the factors of 6 are we take 2 into 3 are 6. When we multiply this, we get the product as 6. When we add this, the sum should be 5. So, x plus 2 into x plus 3 equal to 0. So, x is equal to minus 2 and minus 3. So, b equal to minus 2 and minus 3. So, a equal to plus 2 and plus 3 and b equal to minus 2 and minus 3. So, we can say that a is not equal to B. They are not equal set. Second one, A equal to the set of all X such that X is a letter in the word follow. Here L and O are repeated. We have to write it only once. So A equal to F O L W and B equal to Y is a set. Uh, y, the set of all Y, Y is a letter in the word wolf. So it is represented as W comma O comma L comma f here the letters in both the sets are same and a is equal to b which are equal sets sixth one from the sets given below we have to select the equal sets so a equal to 2 4 8 12 and c is 4 8 12 so uh, here 2 does not belong to c and uh, 14 does not belongs to a. You can easily identify that B equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and D equal to 3, 1, 4, 2. The number of the elements which are present in B and D are equal. So we can write B equal to B. It contains the same element in both B and D. Again we can see that E equal to minus 1, comma 1 and G is equal to 1, comma minus 1. Here the elements are same in both the sets. And we can write E equal to G. So B and D are equal sets and E and G are equal sets. Hope you understood uh, what is uh, empty set, finite and infinite set and equal sets.